Right, so hey guys, and welcome back to another Python tutorial. Um, this video is being done on a request I've received recently, so thank you very much for requesting this video. And without further ado, let's begin. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to basically compile any Python program that you create into a Windows executable file. So in this way, you'll be able to finally finish, once you're finished your program, you'll be able to compile it into an executable file and no longer require Python to run that file. So to begin with, what you want to do is make sure that you've got pip installed on your computer and it's added to the files. So the easiest way you can do this is by going to Google and um, if you haven't got Python already, the, down, the install file, just get it from the website python.org and then when it's all ready you're just gonna open it up the reason we're doing this is to find out whether we've got the uh, pip module installed and whether it's on our uh, system paths or not so what you want to do is click on modify and then you need to make sure that this has been ticked so pip needs to be ticked and then you can click next and then it should say add python to environment variables so this needs to be ticked as well. If it hasn't been ticked, it's not a big problem. Make sure both of them are ticked. So the pip and this one and hit installed. I'm not going to do this because I've already got it installed. So you can now close this if you've already got it installed. And what you want to do next is so I'm going to create a test file. I have a folder called test new text file. Test. Um, test. Dot pi and then inside I'm just gonna do a short program I'm just gonna say hello world and then we do input so that the window doesn't close on us so just save this file I'm so what I'm gonna be doing with this file is changing it into an executable file so we don't need Python to open it first of all what you want to do is type in CMD and open command prompt and when you're done with that, you want to type in the command um, pip install pi installer. Pi installer is basically um, a module that will allow you to convert any py file into an exe. So pip will install that for you once you written this command. Hit enter. And then as you see on my screen, it says requirement already satisfied. This is because I've already installed it. Your should look a bit different and once the installation is successful you have pi installer installed so next you want to um, browse to the directory using cmd so i'm in my z drive right now so i'm going to do z and then colon and now i'll be in the z drive so you want to change to you want to use cd and this folder is on my desktop so i'm going to do cd actually i'm on my P drive. I'm sorry about that. Actually, it's a yeah, a drive. I mean, so I want to navigate to CD desktop. Once I'm on my desktop, I'm going to navigate to my test folder. So CD test. Now we're in our test folder, and then we have test.py in there. So we want to do pi installer and test.py. Right. So when you hit enter the process to start and as you see right here in real time you see some files um, being written to the directory and once it says completely completed successfully you should have your program ready uh, you might see some warnings during this process but you don't need to worry about them uh, your program is going to be in the disk folder and if you open the test again you'll see your test.exe right here so as you see right here, you, you don't, do not need Python no longer and it's an exe file. You can just double click on it and it's going to execute your program. Um, another way of doing this is, I haven't really tested it but we're going to test it in this video. So you could also do, I'm just going to delete these files for now so that they're not overwritten and they don't cause any problems. We could try another one, we do pi installer and then we do test pi again and then we can do one file basically what this should do is keep it to one file instead of like scattering it all over the directory and give it a quick second and hopefully it should run so if you go to this now we have only one file 
compared to before we had like a pile of files and you can create a shortcut for this file and then uh, add an icon or whatever you like so if you double click on this file right now we have hello world and that's the only independent file in there anyway guys that was it for today's tutorial hope this has helped you out um, please make sure to leave more comments about the videos you'd like me to create um, using my community tab the way you can access this is by heading over to um, youtube.com and then going over to my channel and if you open up the channel inside the community tab I've left a message saying you can request new videos here and then just add a comment in there and I shall reply to your comment as soon as I've seen it and there will be a video out soon anyway guys I'll see you in the next one please make sure to subscribe comment share and like peace out